Well, here in Louisiana, reaction to today's arraignment of the former president is mixed. Eleanor Tabone shares what some of our lawmakers had to say. The former U.S. president has been charged by a New York grand jury with 34 felony counts of falsifying business records. After his arraignment, he arrived back in West Palm Beach after pleading not guilty. Eyewitness News political analyst Clancy DeBow says Tuesday's proceedings is exactly what Trump wanted. He is the consummate political showman. He's probably the best political showman in American history. There's going to be a long, quiet period on the legal front, but on the political front, there will be a lot going on. Donald Trump is the first former president to face criminal prosecution. He, however, denies any and all wrongdoing. Falsifying business records is a misdemeanor under New York law, but felony charges are still a possibility. He won't necessarily have an audience of the faithful sitting in the jury box. On the other hand, he only needs one. He only needs one MAGA voter on that jury because to get a conviction, the DA has to get a unanimous verdict. Yeah, I think it's just sad to see the Justice Department abused and weaponized to go after political enemies. I think everybody knows if his name was Donald Smith, these charges wouldn't be brought forward. I mean, they're federal charges and the federal government didn't even choose to go after him and the statute of limitations expired on the charge. House Majority uh, Leader DA Steve Scalise is standing behind the former president, calling this a Trump witch hunt. We're a better country than this. and and. The president's going to beat these charges, but it just it undermines people's faith in the justice system when they see somebody abusing their power to go after political enemies. That happens in third world countries. It shouldn't happen in America. Louisiana State Representative Mandy Landry said in a statement, it's shameful the country had a president like him, but hopeful that he is now being held accountable for his wrongdoings. I hope the delay in prosecution means that the case against him is airtight and larger than we currently know. Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News. Now here's a look at what's next in the case. Lawyers on both sides will spend much of the rest of the year preparing. The judge says there will be an in-person hearing on December 4th. Some analysts say there will likely be motions filed by the defense to dismiss the case. The judge could rule on that at any time. Right now, the trial is set to start in late January of next year. That is just weeks before the first presidential primaries, which are in February.